So here we are in my crowded little shop, and what I've been working on recently, this may be a little hard to see in this video, is a double and then a triple pendulum. So we have three different weights here. The very bottom weight is attached to a, a pendulum on the bottom. And I'm going to reach in here, and it's just simply a little uh, cable connecting the two together. And they've got a series of holes so I can select how far down I want this weight to uh, to be hung. So the center of that pendulum depend, will depend on where I select. Now what this has done when I sw swung the pendulum down below is it uh, activated the next pendulum, which is what I call the outside pendulum. It has a framework that goes all the way up to a gimbal joint which is simply a pivot point that can pivot all directions. And that is hooked to the outside pendulum, which has a frame on it that then I put a table on, a piece of paper that will draw the, um, the pattern that the pendulum creates. This is the arm I'm using. It's got a couple washers that I can move around to give it different weights. So here's the arm. It pivots, pivots in on this little hinge here. The weights can be adjusted back and forth for different pen weights. And on this end, there's a pen. Now the last pendulum, same as a lower pendulum, uh, it has various holes on it and is attached to a gimbal joint below the upper gimbal joint. So there's two gimbal joints there one for the outside pendulum, inside pendulum, and a third gimbal joint for the bottom pendulum. Now what I'm going to do for the pattern, I'm going to take off the middle or the inside pendulum, and I'll be right back. Now, with the middle pendulum removed, I have two pendulums. I have what I call the outside pendulum from the top gimbal joint, and then I have a pendulum suspended below it. So these two are going to work independently and together in a somewhat but mostly unpredictable fashion. Now I'm going to try to start this up with one hand. I'm going to move it towards me and away from me. So that's one direction. I call it north-south. If you look at a map, it's up and down. And I'm going to move the bottom one um, east and west, so to speak. I'm getting this undulating pattern. And the pen is, um, is riding above it. I'll take out my little spacer block so I can drop the pen down whenever I want to. There we go. So now the pen is a device that can capture the path that this table takes created by the two pendulums. The um, pen could be hooked up various ways, but I'm going to back up a little bit. I'm going to show you it's actually hooked up to a machine. This is all prototype material, so it's not all fancy artwork or anything, but pretty much the pen is stationary in space as the uh, pendulums run back and forth. And I don't know how we can see that pattern. You might feel a little seasick from watching this thing. I'm getting, this is a, a pattern that I, I'm, I'm liking a lot. It's getting some uh, nice uh, detail to it. So I'm going to pause while we let this run a little bit longer. Actually, it's getting pretty close. You know, how how the question is how much ink do you put down before it starts getting to be a mess? Okay, I'm going to move around to the pen so I can take take it off pretty soon. This one. Okay, I'm going to lift the pen now. Let's see if I can, I'm going to pause it. And so I paused it so I could um, 
stop the motion so hopefully the viewer won't get seasick watching this the image. So that's the image created by the pendulum. I'm guessing it took three or four minutes to draw this. Anyway, a whole lot of fun and the possibilities seem endless at this point and somewhat unpredictable. And if I take the bottom pendulum off and put the middle one back, the inside one back on, then we get different patterns. I'll show a few more patterns here. And here's a few more patterns. This particular one was done with the inside and outside pendulum and without the bottom one. And then this one over here was done with the outside pendulum and the lower pendulum. And there's been very many more um, designs that have come about through this. So it's a lot of fun. Still prototype phase. Not sure which direction all this is going, but loads of fun.